big thing when uh, I came to college, I got to design uh, my, my helmet for my first time. And um, being a goalie, it's always fun to be able to design something that you're going to wear for a while. It's kind of a way for goalies to uh, kind of express who they are and just, you know, rather than having the old white bucket on your head, you get to make it something cool and, and team themed, so it's sweet. For this year, I wanted something that uh, kind of incorporated a lot of the city life. And so on each side of the helmet, uh, it's St. Paul and Minneapolis. And then on the top, it has the Minnesota logo. Kind of in the skyline, it says Golden Gophers. On the back of the helmet, it has the state of Minnesota. On the state of Minnesota, it has like the city of where we are. And then it also goes into kind of an up north aspect. Uh, I love going up north and getting away from the city when I have my free time. But it also just incorporates how I like being in the city. And, being here for school. Well, I kind of just wanted to leave it pretty basic. So, I mean, I wanted to keep it simple, obviously, with, with the school logos and then where I'm from as well, with a little touch of Canada here on the, on the right side. And then obviously the school mascot down there on the bottom chin. The MN20, um, the MN are two uh, initials. They represent uh, one of my best friends who's passed away and he wore number 20. And then the Fleur de Lis uh, represents Quebec. It's my dad's side of the family. And then the Welsh dragon here on the other side represents Wales, which is my mom's side of the family. The design of my helmet, um, a couple big things for me were my family was very important to me. Put a little, a little something for them. Second of all, a lot of goalies put their number on their chin. Being number one, it's too short, so I, I went with a nickname that a lot of people call me. The third thing, the state of hockey, Minnesota. I grew up in Minnesota, just knowing that this is a state of hockey. Obviously, retro goalie, and then the ham, um, just representing Minnesota. So I went with uh, kind of a funnier mask. I got my, actually my own ears on the side of the helmet. It was a picture that I took and then sent in to Todd Miska so he could put it on there. And then kind of an old school uh, goalie mask that you'd see probably back, back in the 70s on the front, uh, you know, with the gophers and, and what I'd think that a gopher goalie back then would, would have on his face. And then I also have the uh, Anchorage skyline on my back plate to kind of represent my hometown. In a, in a game where everyone kind of looks the same, in a way, the mask for a goalie is kind of that personal uh, aspect of it. And you can kind of share um, with the people behind the net or anyone watching the games. They, they look at it, they find it interesting, and um, it's something that they can reach out and ask questions about and um, kind of find common ground with other people watching.